Okay, so last time on Stage J, me, Sass and Deeds were going on a fabulous city break. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Uh -huh. Case packed, killer kitten heels on, Sonny's sorted, this sassy little city break is gonna rock. Sadie, it's not a city break, it's a geography field trip to Cheddar Gorge. Whatever's. Anyway, moments later, I arrived with some gorgeous news. Forget Cheddar Gorge, this is Cheddar Gorgeous! OMG, Sadie's been shortlisted to pin Galtastic Skylilicious Tweenage of the Month column. But how? Moi. Now let's get her off that bus and back in here. Tracy Gilmott, their star reporter, is visiting today to assess her suitability. Are you insane? This trip is key stage three, the very foundation of our education. Miss it and you mess up your whole academic career. So obviously, because Sadie wasn't there, Steve had to do it. Hello, I'm Tracy Gilmott from Girltastic magazine. Oh, come in. I'm, uh, I'm here to see Sadie. Yeah, that's me. I'm her. <laughs> well, for the day. Didn't you get the message? I'm, I'm a dad, Steve. Steve, Steve uh, Jenkins. Of course. How weird. I was at school with the Steve Jenkins. Naturally, he messed up. You ruined my childhood. Really? Tim Grin Tracy, you called me on account of my brace. Metalhead, bumper mouth, grill face, train track, deep. So sorry. silly. It's all in the past. Oh, good. That's good. Let's just hope Sadie isn't a chip off the old block, shall we? And then he didn't. The Gilmot. Gary Gilmot. He was my best mate at school. So you're not the Steve Jenkins I was in class with? No. No, you were much older than me. I mean, you know. Oh, oh sorry. I just... I did, you said... And then I thought... Oh! <laughs> More than enough info here to make my decision. Steve <laughs> And it was almost in the bag. Oh, I told you. Sadie's gonna owe me big time. This is in the bag. Until he found out who Sadie's competition was. <laughs> I'm meeting her at the Y Diner. Y Diner. She's captain of the Cheer Ups. Cheer Ups. Whitney Landon. Whitney, Whitney Landon. Landon. Oh. M. G. Yes. And that's what you missed on Sadie J. Oh, I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> Won't somebody tell me why I'm always surrounded by boys? Give me a break. They got attitude, kind of cute. But when they're in trouble, takes a go. Now. Ah. Steve! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Now, I'm gonna go around the back and get the car. You get the coats. We must not let this Whitney scupper this for our sass. Okay. <laughs> Watch out for Danny's skate. Ah! 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 Board. Oh. 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 Oh, I think I've slipped a disc. I think I might have slipped a leg. <laughs> Stop being so dramatic. Come on. It's probably just a spring. Ah! Oh! 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 Oh, my foot doesn't usually face that way. Oh, I don't think anybody's does, mate. Oh! you got to get me to the hospital. Mate, we've got to get to the diner. Sass will never forgive me if Whitney Landon wins this. You can't leave me like this. Ooh. When have I ever left you in the lurch? <laughs> Boss. I've got something to tell you. I quit. No, no, we, we, we've already been through all this. You, you can't quit. You, you, the car was spray. Your, your vehicles need you. That's just the thing. Now that I've discovered my power, I have to share it with the world. A superpower is a big responsibility, Steve. Keith, you're hardly Spider-Man. No, I'm the car whisperer. You made yourself a costume. It's got matching pants, I'll show you. Don't wait, stop! Wowee! You weren't even looking. 
You could play blindfolded and still win. <laughs> well, I don't like to brag, but yes. <laughs> yes, I could. Shall we uh, shuttle our way out of here? <laughs> Toodaloo. Enjoy. I'll just run the business. I don't need a date to have fun. Me and my three best mates, Boxy, Spanner and Donkey, are going clubbing. Oh, make that just Donkey and Spanner. Spanner. Yeah, that's his nickname. Really funny story as to how he got it, actually, right? No, I mean, pass me the spanner. <laughs> you bet than him. <laughs> yeah, sure. Know that I can give somebody. I wasn't doing anything, boss. Honest. That's the trouble. Read it and weep, Steve. That quarter of every pound's gonna cost you. Big time. I figured the best way to bring people in was to go all cosmopolitan and offer them a free cappuccino or a cuppa while they're getting their car fixed. Bill? What bill? The bill for the work I've done on your car. That was for free? It said so on the poster. No, it doesn't. It says free tea and full service while you wait. <laughs> Excuse me, I uh, just had a little chat with my mechanic. I can't afford to grow up yet. <laughs> In fact, I don't want to grow up yet. <laughs> well, it's going to happen. All right, one day you're going to come in here and you're going to say to me, Steve, I've grown up, I want to get my spanner and hit the road. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here until I'm as old and grey and decrepit as you are, boss. Thanks, Keith. That makes me feel a lot better. Can't do Friday. Sorry, mate. Going to a gig now with Spanner. Well, that's just brilliant, isn't it? Back to square one in less than one minute. Look, I tell you what, if you want, you can come and stay in with me Friday night. You mean, like, not go out? Are you bonkers? Well, I mean, it's hardly the Porsche of social events. Granted, it's more like a comfortable Ford Focus, but I, I always have a great time. No way. I'd rather go clubbing with my mum. Yeah, will your mum please bingo on a Friday night? I'll see if my nan's free. <laughs> Bit of advice for you, boss. Never try and eat chips whilst going downhill on a homemade go-kart that's only got three wheels when you're not wearing a helmet. Call me when you change your mind. <clears throat> right, keep to the right. What go right to where? Towards you, right. Towards you. Just steady, boss, all right? Well, yeah, this is heavy. Right. Come on. Try and go to the right, boss. Right, well, right, your right or my right? My Watch right. Watch it. It's, this that really right. is a two man job. You... Ah! Man down! Man down! Ah! Ah! Two men down! Two men down! I've got two tickets to endurance. That sounds like an energy drink. Oh, what are you like? It's only the hottest club in town. Now get on your best clubbing gear so I can check it out. They're well fussy about the dress code. So, what do you think? <laughs> I think we're staying in. No. All right, all right, all right. Yes, all, all right, now. Ooh, all right. No. We've got to be quick, OK? I mean, how much damage can Whitney do in half an hour, anyway? Who is fitter than the rest? Who's your classic? Who's the best in your W? Give me an Give me an H. Give me an H. I. T. N. E. Y. Go, Whitney! <laughs> so that's why I, Whitney Landon, am the one and only girl for Girltastic magazine. So, what do you think? It depends. Are the rest of the chirps coming here for shakes? And burgers and banana splits. Believe me, you're going to make big bucks. In which case, it was magnifico. That was the best presentation I've ever seen in my entire life. Ever. Well, I wouldn't go quite that far. But it was very thorough. And long. And... Yes? Pink! <sighs> Thank you. Your kind words mean a lot to a humble girl like me. So, when do I get in the mag? 
<laughs> That's not been decided yet. There is another girl still in the running, you see. Who? <laughs> I'd rather not say. I smell wet dog, polyester, and diesel. Silly J. How did you do that? It's a cheer up thing. Now, not that I'd ever dream of telling you how to do your job, but you seriously don't want to put that lane back in your magazine. Why not? <laughs> no, really. Why not? Oh, dear. <laughs> now, where do I start? Yeah. Look, guys, as I can explain. You see, I really did want to come to the awards and the convention, but they were on at the same time, and that time was the same time I got asked to the cheer-ups party. <laughs> cheer-ups party? They think I got potential. As what? A pom-pom? Look, the point is, I didn't want to let you down, okay? I'm not a monster, so I thought I'd come here, show my face, and then zip off to where I really want to be. Oh. <laughs> I'll make it up to them. Not Brainiac Babcock, the human snore fest. <laughs> oh, um. Hey, Teresa. Is that a bow in your hair? Technically, it's an Alice band, but you're right. It's hideous. Well, excuse me, but I like living like this, and I like looking like a young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're the one with the problem. Maybe you need to grow up, get your head out of science books and get a life. <gasps> well, I don't want a life if it's as freaky as this. <gasps> what? I felt left out. <laughs> hey, Deeds. Are you in the hardware store? Of course I'm in the hardware store. Yep, picking up those nine-inch nails right now. Oh, really? <laughs> Um, what about the spring balanced coils? Uh, uh, let me check. Not there, not there. Ah, got them. One sec, Deeds. <laughs> I knew you were bunking off. That's why I went there myself. Sass, we're on a deadline. The Trembler Teapot T2000 won't invent itself. More's the pity. I've done that for you. How are you going to pull these strings and get Teresa to get to the prom for me? You've bought that rubbish. Gaga, I'm good. Sadie, why did I ever trust you? Oh, oh come on, Deeds. My dad has more of a chance of being prom queen than her. The bad bot wouldn't know fabulous if it tapped her on the shoulder and went, hey, I'm fabulous McFabulous, but my mates call me Fabby. <laughs> Teresa, wait. Unbelievable. Deeds. No, Sadie, I'm never doing anything for you ever again. She'll get over it. You really want this job, don't you? Mm. And you know I'm lying about Miss V. <laughs> Tricky. Oh, look, Miley Cyrus! Stop! I think I've heard quite enough. Thank you. You see, Sadie Jo's an absolute nightmare. I wouldn't say nightmare, but she can be a little bit of a schnoodle sometimes. <laughs> if you know Sadie, what's she like with you? Well, we get on like forest and fire, cabbage and cheese, sponge and bob. Except when she's attacking you or your diner. What? <laughs> Check out my surprise face. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Sassy J got the moves. She got the grooves. She got up. Oops. <laughs> okay, who ordered the chili chili cheeseburger with double double bacon and a side order of beef? Me. <laughs> Miss Jenkins, chop chop chop. Get busy waitressing, Miss B. Not trying to chop things as well. You need to learn some manners. You want it? Too late, losers. Mm -mm -mm. <coughs> okay, maybe I went a little bit too far. <coughs> that does not look good in pink polyester. <laughs> C. 
Sadie, my darling. You know I think of you as daughter. But daughter who trashes my diner and loses me money is no daughter of mine. With respect... I know. I'm fired. I got it all worked out. Mm -hmm. I know JLS. I prefer XZJ. They're huge in Klaipeda. Labas yennas vitaitis. Labas yennas geralaitis. Ow! Ow! Hot! Crazy! Digga digga do! Digga digga do! Ow! Ow! XJS! Two shakalaka shakes, please. <laughs> now drink up. A three, two, one. <laughs> oh no! The Y has a cockroach infestation. Now what on earth is the health inspector gonna make oh. of that? He'll close the place down. What health inspector? There is no health inspector here. <gasps> the health inspector is on his way. <laughs> Did you just eat those cockroaches? What cockroaches? There are no cockroaches here. No, but there are rats. Say the J is crazy. See, is that seriously the kind of loser you want to put in Girltastic magazine? Stop! Help! Sorry. Stop! Stand up. Don't listen to a word she says. She's got in for sass. I will thank you to keep your voice down in my establishment. Unless, schnulliwulli, you want to order something? No, I'm fine, thanks. Sis. I've got something far more important to do. I'm standing up for my daughter. The daughter I promised would be in that magazine. Not now. Not just because she's my daughter, but because she deserves it. Steve. If ever there was a more girl-tastic girl than my Steve. Steve. What? I've got nothing to hold on to. Great, great that's great. Oh, where was I, please? You were just telling us what a nightmare your daughter is. Yes. No, no. My say is a good girl. Most of the time. So, some of the time. I, I mean, okay, on bank holidays, except last bank holiday where she had a redump, but, you know, forget. Anyway, she's an angel compared to you. You're taking your dad to see JLS? Yeah. Problem? No problem, apart from embarrassing dad. Oh, and embarrassing dad. And furthermore, embarrassing dad. One ticket, please. Your prom queen is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Jenkins, a word? Fantabulicious. I just meant I want a word with you. Me? Some of the girls think that you've got social potential. They want me to join the team? I didn't say that. Right, okay, well, for Boosh, I'll get a funky new outfit for No! Tonight. I mean, you look fine, just as you are. Cheerleaders Club, 6 p.m. Don't be late. Let's get this party started, because Sasa J is in the house. Sheiks and geeks, what kind of party is this? Well, let's put it this way. An A-lister brings along a D-lister, so all the other A-listers can laugh at them. <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm trying to practice a routine here, in case you hadn't noticed. Now, what exactly is it that you want? Liberty, freedom, emancipation from an outdated notion of what fabulous really is. People have spoken. The prom is not a democracy. It's a dictatorship. And I'm the dictator. <laughs> I know you should never think ill of your fellow sister, but go! 
I hate that small-minded dung breath dung muppet. <gasps> That is so not true. It is too. Is not. Papa Grease Monkey. Grease! Still on the floor, boss. Great. Good. Right, OK, well, you're not all right, you know. There with your pom-poms and your, your pink polyester, but there's more to being girl-tastic than just being girly-girly. What? Oh, yes. So you talk to the hubcap sister because the mechanic's not listening. Listen to this. You wouldn't dare. You want to bet? Ha! <laughs> Is that all you got? Dare. You want a bet? No. <laughs> I take you just about as much of this as I can. And believe me, I've seen some things. I judge Miss Teen Dreaming in heels at her alternate for 12 hours straight. I was at the popsicle burn off where I had to referee a corkscrew girl fight. But nothing, nothing has prepared me for this. Heard everything I need to hear from you. And you! <laughs> My decision is made! <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I have an article to write. How's the field trip, all right? The caves are amazing. <laughs> Almost as good as the midnight feast. Teresa Bagwell bathed all over Mr. Mickelson. Twice! And then we all got wet, and then the temple blew away, and then I wore helmets, and now I've got hat hair. Blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Enough with the stalling. I know that Goldtastic magazine. What happened? Look, Sass. Now, you are always going to be my teenager of the month. Okay, you don't have to win some city competition to impress me. You mean I didn't win? Sorry. I did try. I just couldn't convince the reporter to put you in the magazine. You did. Me? Oh, yeah. What, did Tracy write in the article again? <clears throat> and I quote, To be a girl-tastic teenager, you don't have to be perfect, and that's exactly what Sadie J is. <gasps> Not perfect. Huh? She's messy and outrageous and silly and thoughtless and the original OMG girl. And this is a good thing. But most of all, she's real. And that's exactly why I wanted her in our magazine. Someone who loves their friends, loves their family, and loves life. <laughs> oh, and loves their dog. <laughs> what? I couldn't leave him out. <laughs> Mine's the muddiest bit of mud. Sorry. I've got them up for your mud mask. <laughs> Sorry. I've got them up for your mud mask. Me too. Mine's 
want the muddiest. Oh, whatever. Mine's the muddiest bit of mud you'll ever see. <laughs> A criminal, you gotta act criminal. No, nah. it didn't come up. I'm not that strong. But I also know JX Zelda. They're huge in Klaipeda. Labasienas vitaitis, Labasienas geralitis. Two shaggy like a chest. Not so fast. Hush. <laughs> Each claws are like are like a thousand scales. So there's at least a thousand snails. Snails. <laughs> <laughs> I know I. Yeah. It's just, you know. It's all right for you to do it. Try and do it on his cameras no, on. No, you've got no. a hat on and you're overweight. How did your fabulous 14 party go? It didn't. Okay. How come? Nothing to do with the fact that all hell broke loose at the Y Diner last night after a security team were compromised at, at a private <laughs> <laughs> Then Then Chloe said if I didn't have a fabouche party, we'd all have a farm in Wales. And that's not an option, what with your sorry. <laughs> sorry! Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Nan. Oh, sorry. 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 Sorry, sorry I got the wrong line. Sorry. 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 Sorry.